the civilian packaging one, and the Korean MRE, Kim Sargent. This is how it looks like, fried rice. It looks good, it looks like fried rice. This is straight up fried rice. This is legit, I like this little drawing right here, it's so cute. What's happening guys? Archizzle here and welcome to another video Archies. I hope you guys are all having a great great day. Brand new viewers, welcome. If you saw this channel because of the Veterans Day feature that YouTube did about my MRE video when I was reviewing. What MRE was that? The British MRE. Thank you guys for being here. I am a US Army medic six years in. I am active duty. I make a lot of videos online about my personal life outside of the uniform. I make a lot of MRE videos, hanging out with the family, talk about Army stuff and so much more and just basically having fun it's my online diary ever since I got here to the States going back 10 years and just you know still going strong and here today we're reviewing another MRE so for today's video US Army soldier tries Korean MREs I got two different packages right here I do not know how to read Korean I don't know how to speak Korean I probably need a translator. So if you're watching this and you know how to read Korean and, and speak it, please correct me. It's not meant to offend you. It's just to compare the differences between the military MRE for the United States and different countries. If you haven't done so, by the way, I'll put different links and pictures somewhere in the screen for the mentioned videos like MRE, PT stuff, my life outside of the army, comedy sketches, and many more. And my light is flickering away, so I should probably get a new one. As you can see, they're so different. I was told that they're actually the same. It's just like a different type of flavor, I guess, but they look super identical and we will be going to the other camera so we can do a more detailed visual review or unpackaging or unboxing of this. All right, so let's go. All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, guys, welcome to the second camera. This is a better angle, better view of both MREs. They look so much alike in terms of size. Letterings, I'd say I think it's from the same country or it, it's really similar. That's why I'm just gonna leave it like that But this one is definitely more Military related and there's some writings on it saying Kim Sargent I don't know if that is the brand a little emoji of a Korean soldier over there The characters the letters again. I could not read it. So if you read or speak Korean, please let me know. I know there's a different dialect but that's that. That's probably the flavor. That's probably the brand. Kim Sargent logo. Tear here, I'm assuming. And a website there. I don't know. And let's see what's in the back. Here's some instructions as well on how to prepare it. I'll wing this one. Again, this is so different compared to the US MRE and different MREs that I've seen or eaten. Because this one is super small. Like, it's just like a little package. Is it just like noodles in it? Rice in it with some stuff? But... Let's see, it seems like you gotta tear the package, put some seasoning in it, put some water mix in. That's it. So it's just like rice, I guess, with seasoning and meat inside. So this one, I'm assuming, is a... What do you call this? Like, well, there's an egg in it. Probably not. You have to put the egg. That's just a picture. This is probably a civilian version of it, but really similar. 335 calories and you know, nutritional values and facts over there. What is this? Wuri Bibimbap kimchi flavor so it's kimchi somewhat related go ingredients is right there more nutritional facts and we'll open this one kim sergeant and this one actually came with a spoon not a fork not any sort of chopsticks but just a regular spoon all right so we'll open this one and see what's inside and add hot water this is kind of weird for me also because there's two you see that two perforations or two places where you can tear it. I guess we'll start off with this one. All right, so that's open now. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, why was there two? Oh, okay, I get it now. So that one was to open it and then to seal it, I guess once you add the water, let's see what's inside. What is this? Sesame oil. So Kim Sargent sesame oil, three ml, you know, like every noodles are like Packaged rice, I guess, that you can add. Looks like rice. Okay, this looks like the seasoning. It's fluid in it. Kind of thick, kind of like the spicy ramen noodle challenge. You remember that? My daughter's in the background, by the way. So if you can hear her, she's just playing her Nintendo DS. Say hi, everyone, Elena. Hi. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but this is legit. I like this little 
drawing right here. It's so cute. Here you go. Doesn't say, or maybe you guys can read what it says, like if it's spicy or not. I'm not really sure. But there you go. Clearly looks like rice. Well, I'm probably gonna get corrected again. That is not rice or chisel. I do not really know. There's some writings inside too. I guess you actually read it like that. Okay, water line. Okay. Different translations, I'm assuming. Water line, water line. Oh, it's just the same thing. They just write it differently so you guys won't miss it. And they have it like all over inside the package. How about this side? This side has the same thing water line so do not overfill more over that line it looks legit it looks good it looks like little chunks of meat dried veggies dehydrated veggies it looks like rice but not really rice i don't know it's weird focus i can't focus so let's just go inside the package here you go all right so that's that and I'm assuming Kim Sergeant bibimbap as well. I don't know. I don't want to open both, but we might have to open both just to compare it. Water is boiling, and we'll go and come back here in a bit. Hey, check this out, guys. This is on the other package, not the red one, not the camouflage or whatever pattern that is. There's English translations. I just realized that. Open the bag and take out sauce bag. It says to me, oh, we did that. Add water to reach the indication line. We saw that too. It was marked clearly. Package and steer rice before close the zipper or the ziplock thingy up there. And wait for 10 minutes if add hot water. Wait 40 minutes if add cold water. So you can use cold water as well. Huh. Obviously, because it didn't come with a heater package like the American MREs. Hmm. But that egg really looks good. Has an expiration date. It looks like legit kimchi. Okay, now guys, as you can see, we got super hot. It just boiled. I just took it out of the stove. Water. We will be putting it in this one. So if you're watching this, safety first. If you're trying to do something similar to this, always get someone who's of age to help you out. So just very little water, and I'm spilling everywhere. God damn it. Was that enough? <laughs> that was clearly a fail. Okay, let's do that again. All right. So that's that. I think I should have added everything. Okay, I'm failing here right now. So let's add the sesame oil. Come on, sesame oil. We got time, we got time, we got time. Okay, now the seasoning. Let's put the seasoning in there. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, that actually smells good. It really has that Asian smell. So that's that. Look what it looks like. I'll add more later, but I want it to cook. Water's in there. Close it up. So, let it stay there for a while. 10 minutes and we will come back. This thing is getting really warm now. I like it. It's going to be good. I have a feeling. For this one, since I opened it up, might as well. And I'm probably going to spill more water again like earlier. Yeah, it should be enough. So they are both heating up and we will come back in like 10 minutes or so. All right guys, we're back. I got my trusty handy dandy spoon. It's not a fork like the last time in the previous video and everyone was cracking up when I said fork, a spoon and a fork next together. I don't know. But yeah, we will open Kim Sargent first. It's really nice and warm and it, it feels like it, it expanded. I mean, it's rice or some sort of rice. And first impressions, let's take a look. Probably need to change the angle right here and mix it a little better. Okay, it looks cooked. Nice steamy rice with dehydrated vegetables and also meat, I'm assuming. Little chunks of dried meat. It smells like ramen noodles. Asian-y, asian, -y, asian -y smell definitely. Dude, I like this one. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like close up and we will eat this in a bit once we move to our primary camera. So that's it. It looks good. It looks like fried rice. This is straight up fried rice. The other one, the non-military packaging one. So similar, super similar. Same, 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 same. Mix it up, mix it up. The civilian packaging one and the Korean MRE, Kim Sargent. This is how it looks like, fried rice. 
I guess I should have added more water. I didn't mix it well. One of those things. But this one looks like it's way better. And let's go to the main cam for the taste test. All right, guys, we're back. I apologize for my lighting. If it's flickering, we really need a new one. So now we have Kim Sargent Korean MRE all cooked, nice and ready, good to go. And we're going to do the taste test. I'm actually excited because it smells really good. And mix a little bit more here, I guess, on this side. And we are about to taste it. Let's see. People complain a lot when I chew so much. Or the sound. I think. They feel like they're watching an ASMR video or a mukbang video, one of those things. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. This is really good. It tastes like fried rice that you would get from like a Chinese store, Chinese restaurant. It has that hint of spiciness. See? It's nice, steamy, hot. Mm. Kim Sargent, Korean MRE. This is nice. It's really flavorful. I'm not going to use the legit over and over again because you guys complain a lot. But this, this thing right here is legit. I'm just going to say that. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm. I can eat this for days. It's really good. It tastes like fried rice. Seasoned. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of MSG on it. it. Has that hint of spiciness, but it's not as spicy as the spicy noodle challenge. I think it needs more meat. The dried or dehydrated vegetable is really good too. But it's straight up rice, dude. It's straight up rice. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't come with a heater pack, so when you try to eat this probably in the field, if you're in the Korean army, you need hot water, but they probably get issued something like a canteen cup or something to heat up something. Because I know other militaries, they are issued a heater packet like what the US army has or something else, some sort of like heating equipment or device. And don't forget that you can actually use cold water as well, but it will be cold, it's not warm, and it takes longer to soften up the rice it says 40 minutes. It also shows here, I wasn't able to show you guys. Do not microwave the thing, because it's foil. Do not overfill. Dude, it's really flavorful. I think I can eat this with like egg roll. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm just eating now. Mm. You know what? Let's try the other one. So this is the civilian version, I guess, or a different type of packaging. I think I didn't cook this that well. Let me mix it a little bit more. It looks exactly the same. Nothing different. Mm. Okay. This thing has more seaweeds. You know the dried seaweeds? You know the dried seaweeds you get from the Asian store? I can definitely taste that a lot more here and visibly see that there's more of those in here. Mm. For some reason, these things remind me of teriyaki barbecue sauce. That's how close the taste is. Okay, so again, to compare and just to give you guys a summary, Korean MRE, I think military version or package in non-military one, the civilian version. This has more seaweeds. They are exactly the same, very similar. It just differs on the taste a little bit or maybe how I cooked it. You can cook it with like cold water or it's better if you cook it with like hot water. 10 minutes tops, it's so easy, it's instant, that's it. It's pretty good. I just wish there would have been more meat, I guess, or something if, or if you, for some other reason, you were in the field and you got your own steak or if you have egg rolls or something like that or put an egg in it like kind of like what the picture shows you guys that there's like an egg or supposed to be an egg it's pretty good bottom line i highly recommend you guys trying korean mres sorry again if i don't read korean or speak korean translate it for me and overall i like it expect more videos soon i have a french mre that i haven't opened up and it's gonna be in another video coming really soon. Expect more videos about non-military stuff and army related topics like PT, 
Q&A is coming from you guys or if you have any questions about the army or anything in general you know the deal check out the whole page so you can find out more about me especially for the brand new viewers hit that subscribe like share support appreciate and that is it for today art chisel out